What's up guys and welcome. You're watching Fancy Fitness. So let's start this video with the reigning Arm Classic champion Hadi Chopat and his heroic welcome that he received upon arriving in his home country Iran. The Persian wolf is the pride of the nation and people love him unconditionally. And that is why when he lost Mr. Olympia title last year, for him it was like letting his country down, letting his people down. Now we all knew he is gonna come back harder than ever and that is why we saw Hadi Chopan at his absolute best at this year's Arnold Classic Ohio. He was good at the Arnold UK as well but not as good as he was in Ohio. But considering all the factors of not getting his visa on time, having to travel at the very last minute and then just having 24 hours for the entire picking process and still bringing a package that was good enough to win the Arnold and to hold off a guy like Samson Daldo. Not to mention a very much improved Samson. Only Hadi Chopan could have done that. So when was the last time someone won the Arnold Classic and Mr. Olympia during the same calendar year? It was Brandon Carey and that happened back in 2019. Because this is something that we see very rarely. It happens once in a blue moon. Phil he during all his 7 years of Mr. Olympia reign. He was focused on just one show, defending his Mr. Olympia title. And so was the case with Jay Cutler. Dexter Jackson won the Arnold and the Olympia in 2008. And before that, the greatest of all time, Ronnie Coleman accomplished the same back in 2001. And that Olympia prep and his look in 2001, that was probably one of the most vulnerable looks of Ronnie Coleman's career. I mean, he almost lost the title to Jay Cutler that year. So history has shown us that it is very hard to win two of the biggest shows in bodybuilding in the same calendar year because these shows are months apart. But here is another fact. If there is someone who can do it, it is Hadi Chopin. The love and the support that Hadi gets from everyone is absolutely unmatched. We saw the same trend with Big Rami when he won the Olympia in 2020 and in 2021. And even when he lost the Olympia title in 2022, when he placed fifth, even then his welcome was so heroic. So things on the other hand are quite different for people in the US and in UK. And they really wish that they had the same kind of support. So I think Hadi Chopin will be fired up even more after this homecoming and we have every reason to believe that he is gonna be better than ever at Mr. Olympia 2023. Better than what we saw at the Arnold Classic Ohio State just a couple of weeks ago. So do let me know what you guys think. Can Hadi Chopin regain his Olympia title? Can he beat Derek Lansford? Or is Derek gonna be able to hold him off at the Olympia in October? Phil Heath, the seven times Mr. Olympia, one of the greatest of all time, is making waves outside the bodybuilding world as well. With his recent endeavor being one of the biggest media moves of his career, he appeared on Pierce Morgan Uncensored. And we all know his YouTube channel attracts masses from every part of society, from every part of the world. Now, whether you like Pierce Morgan or not, that is a separate story. But you cannot deny he has one of the biggest viewerships in the world. So, Phil Heath, as a former Mr. Olympia, who is a very well-spoken man. He would have surely painted a great picture of bodybuilding, not just for the bodybuilding community, but for everyone out there. This will surely attract more crowds towards bodybuilding. And I think every bodybuilding media outlet, every platform should support this and should repost this. Phil led an era of bodybuilding that we may never see again. Because this is a step in the right direction for bodybuilding. This interview is gonna help Phil Heath market his upcoming documentary, Breaking the Olympia with years in less than two weeks time. And not only just that, this will help the sport of bodybuilding get more exposure as well. And this is gonna help the sport of bodybuilding to get bigger. Just a few weeks ago, we saw Chris Bumstead on Jordan Peterson's YouTube channel. And things like these are really important for the sport of bodybuilding. This is how this sport is gonna grow. This is how bodybuilding is gonna get more exposure. It was Philip Gerard Heath. I'm a seven-time Mr. Olympia, and I'm going after number eight. The Mr. Olympia is and wherever will be the greatest bodybuilding show on the planet. Next up, we have a physique update of Stuart Sutherland, aka Beef Stew, who is going to do the New York Pro in about nine weeks' time. And he looks on target in every aspect. The size, the density, the conditioning, all the boxes are checked. So Stu was the runner-up at the New York Pro last year, and he did only two shows last year, the New York Pro and California Pro. And he shut down the season after Cali Pro and he went back to the drawing board so that he could focus on improving his physique and have a very big long off season. And I have to say that was a very productive off season. He wanted to work on some weak areas of his physique, like his hamstrings, like his abductors. And we have to keep in mind 
Nick Falker is doing nothing a pro, so each one of these guys, including Stuart, they must have a plan B. The aim for Stu is obviously winning his first pro show and qualify for the Olympia, which isn't gonna be easy because we have a bunch of very, very good bodybuilders who have yet to qualify for Mr. Olympia 2024. Just take a look at this year's Arn Classic lineup. We have guys like Akeem Williams and John De La Rosa, for instance. These guys are yet to qualify for the Olympia, so it is gonna be really difficult for a lot of these guys to even get their Olympia qualification. So Stu was really impressive last year, specifically if we compare him to the previous versions of himself. He made some very great improvements in just one year, and we expect him to see bigger and better than ever whenever he steps on stage in summer in 2024. So this next physique update is of the youngest IFB pro who competes in the men's open bodybuilding in this current times. Jose Manuel aka Josema Beast, who is most probably gonna represent his country at Ampro Classic Spain, that is scheduled to be held in June. Which means he's probably gonna face Michael Cristo as well as Bero Stabani at that show, and that is gonna happen in 12 weeks time. Now I am only speculating about his contest plans, but Ampro Classic Spain seems like a good show for him to compete in, considering that it is gonna be in his hometown. So Jose made his pro debut last year, that was also at Ampro Classic Spain, where he was able to place a very impressive top 4, beating a guy like Roman Fers. And keep in mind, Roman Fers was able to qualify for the Olympia later in 2023. So Jose is also one of those very tall guys. So it is gonna take him some time to fill out his frame, to fill himself up properly. Now he isn't as muscular from the front as some of the other guys that he is gonna go up against here at Emperor Classic. But when he turns around, when he hears those back shots, even last year everyone was so shocked to see his tremendous back development. Because the guy is just 21 years old. And that was an unbelievable back. And this year it is gonna be even better. So if this guy plays safe, and if he takes his time to fill out his frame, and do not rush the process, he's gonna have a very long and a very successful career in the future in men's open bodybuilding. I mean, it is really rare to see guys having this much muscle mass at such a young age. So Jose is definitely gifted in that regard. So eventually he is gonna qualify for the Olympia and not rushing the process and keeping that waistline in check. That is gonna be a major factor. That is gonna be the key here. Even a guy like the mutant Nick Falker, who was so damn impressive when he was really young, even he now admits that he tried to put on size way too fast and that made his waist grow. So what are your thoughts on this young guy's physique? Does he have what it takes to be a top level Mr. Olympia contender? Do let me know what you guys think. Also hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. And smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.